Hello folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. It has been a while since we've seen each other, and we have been a bit busy. We've been busy doing some contract work, and we've got two more contracts accepted. Covering contract on 121, and a, a contract for 67. And yeah, just been checking our productions, and we do need more liquid fertilizers, so we will get that sorted with the grain mill, rolls out rye, oats, it's got about another month left and about a couple more months left on the wheat and several more months with the barley so we need to do top up our greenhouses with the fertilizer. Also today we need to start mulching the fields and also we need to tend to the alfalfa that has been ready for what, a couple of months now, I think? So if we have a look at our PDA, that's our alfalfa, that is ready to harvest. We've got our bather and our lorry over there ready. Also, I have been messing around with some bits, mainly with the whole bell situation. We had all those short bells. I looked at the large warehouse facility we've got, but for some reason they, there isn't a bell trigger. It looks like there is a bell, bell area, but I drove entirely around the entire place and no luck. So, what I tried to do was... Apologies there, had a phone call, but yeah, as I was saying, we have tried, first of all, put some bell storage, those auto bell storage facilities down. And we were having issues with it here. So what I've got done is convert this area into basically a little storing area. So I know it ain't the most smoothest of areas, I know. May have to work on that. But yeah, I then tried to go down here to the cookie factory. Twice I've tried to put the same thing down, different mods and that. I even done the Oh, uh, what's it? The base game one that Giants added. So, I'm going to our silos, even try putting this down. And we was having issues of you, what you may have seen of bells glitching through the ground. So, we've got a couple of bells here, about five or no, about ten bells here. And we've got about two bells somewhere stuck underneath the ground. So, I thought, first of all, it was a mod conflict. You know, like, where before I've been having game crashes and that on a regular. However, I've done the same. I've laid up a new game safe. I've done no mods. I've tried it with the Bell Storage mods. And same thing. Glitched Bells in. And apparently, from what I've learned this morning as I'm recording this on Thursday. Apparently people's been having this issue with Stone Valley. So that's a different map maker, that is Nancy Boy. And this is obviously by Oxygen David, so I'm not sure what's going on. Because as I'm speaking, a couple of people who are on PC is trying to figure out what the issue is. But yeah, so honestly I don't know what's causing these issues, like it's never happened before, and I think we've got the wrong area here for this. Yeah, this one's at the front, so let's go to the front. Let's not smash into the greenhouse, please. There we go, we are free. So yeah, what I'm going to do is go around to the other greenhouses. We will need to top this up, I think. Got well, like five or six greenhouses, so that is 15, 80,000 litres. And then we'll start doing the alfalfa work, I think, afterwards. And there we go, that's greenhouse, so yeah, five greenhouses, so yeah, not too bad. All we have to do now is put this in storage. Also, actually, what we can do. Whilst we're here, if we have a look at our productions, we need to make some cake, so we need to grab some eggs and some butter. 
I have took some milk down in between episodes. It's about 8,000 liters or so down. Actually, we're going to have a look now. And I took the milk down, but forgot to turn the butter on. So, that's lovely. But yeah, if we have a look. Yeah, 9,000 liters. And that's going to yield us about just over 9, just under 9,000 liters of butter. And that's the thing, it's a fast production, so we should get a couple of pallets. Because so yeah, I want to get the cake production on the way again. We need to move those into storage. Actually, we should grab from the trailer perhaps, but I think for now we can use the front loader for this, because there's only like one egg crate over here. And yeah, we'll grab to butter. So yeah, if we have a look, let's see the recipe. And the recipe requires actually an equal amount, so... I think, yeah, how big are these pads? 1,000 liters? So yeah, 1,000 liters. Let's, let's get another pallet, so... There we go. That's thing like I love this production because it's so speedy. So grab these, then grab a pile of extra two, and then put them into the bakery. So we go and grab all the eggs, and well, at least from this one map, obviously, what are new chicken pens and that. And I'm sure they're going to yield a lot more eggs compared to what we're doing at the moment. However, for the time being, this is all we need. Like, seriously, like, we don't need so much. And it's one of those things, it'll just trickle over over time, do its own thing. So there we go. Now we just need to move these around, I think, for now. So yeah, also, we sold some, oh, what was it, apple juice. And yeah, we've got a fair, fair chunk of change from that. That's why also money's gone up so much. Obviously, we've gone up a bit more, but we had to do the repair and maintenance of all of our equipment. So, just so, so finan finances, if you have a look, not livestock. Not, yeah, vehicle running costs, 16 grand. Not the decent stuff. So, salt bells, that's from the contracts, that was 16 grand. The products, that's 190 grand in total so far this month. Obviously, that is other stuff, not just of what we sold in between episodes. Like, it's also bits and that's episodes. And actually, I think we can do with checking on our. Soups that are soups or preserved food because I'm sure by now we'll have something. And actually, is it a good time to sell our products, our bread and cakes? I can't remember, is it August or February? Actually, it's right now, so like well, bread is December, cakes. Uh, well, we'll go down a little bit more, but we'll wait a couple more months. And later on, we'll grab those. And we'll put them into the proper storage so they don't rot and just go all moldy fights. Yeah, a little bit of a clip in. Yeah, it's quite tight around here. Like, even something like this, this is what you'll call by farm sim standard by. Well, it's technically it's a large tractor, but compared to what you could get with like the versatiles, the big buds, key sigers and that, it's quite small in comparison, but I just think that's what you gotta love about British maps is like you can't just go all big and all crash. Obviously we've done that a little bit here with Court Farm. And yeah, some of that may be because of the Fortunate abilities of going through the hedgerows without causing any permanent destruction. 
or the fact that these hedgerows aren't made of concrete. But, still. But I think, actually, we need to focus on alfalfa. We've got alfalfa to do, and also we've got the mulching to do, like... Yeah, all these root crops, the cornfields needs mulching. Because, yeah, I'm thinking for our next crop, we can do canola. If we do canola now, we can harvest it in August, so... I think that's what I should do first of all. Let's start the mulching. And I'm thinking for canola, what we can do it is... See, I'm thinking... Obviously, we need to get canola oil on that, so somewhere close and local. See, I'm thinking like field 5, field 6, and even this field here. If we get these three fields going, that's got a direct path literally to the production. Same with 6, and obviously field 10 merges with 6. And yeah, f for canola, and that is actually is quite good. The potatoes, they're going to be ready next month. And we do have our two grass fields as well. So, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. So, yeah, let's start with the mulching, I think. So, we'll put this away. And then we'll head over to the fields. And there we go. Let's run right into the fields. Don't get stuck, please. Like, you can just about get this in. Really, car. Bloody caravanners. There we go. Just hop, uh, hop in the skip. So, yeah, I've got a fair bit of mulching to do. In terms, since we're off the public roads, we can turn our beacons off. But, yeah, the Comax here. Is it Comax or Convax? I know it's not converses, but rollers, yeah, Comax, Comax, oops, yeesh, let's get you off the hedgerow, there we go, and uh, yeah, let's just start here, and interestingly, it's not removing the ridge markers, Ah, no, that's because those ridge markers were meant to be for the crops we had. But obviously, for some reason, when we planted all the root crops and that, I somehow managed to forget to plant, so we do have those to deal with. And actually, I'm thinking of switching something up a bit. So, if we head to. I think it's under disc arrows. Yeah, I'm thinking something like this. It's 10 meters. But what it does, it mulch and disc arrows at the same time. The Lando 7431VT, 33 footer. So not only yeah, are we mulching, but also cultivating at the same time, so... Actually, well, let's try that. So yeah, then we go swap this out. Because yeah, I think... Yeah, well, what's going on here? Why is... Well, it's like, is it a hydraulic issue we've got? We compare it to the hydraulics. That's fully extended. That looks fully extended. Is it a hinge joint? But yeah, like the bolts aren't lined up, so yeah. Let's take it back. This needs repairing in that. And yeah, we're going to grab the land for the dealership, so obviously we're going to be buying it. That's going to be most of our money, so for now, let's just go and lease it. So there we go. We got this, got the land all, and we're just going to pull out of here, and actually I'm thinking, we've got this, it is quite huge, like, 
very close. It is quite wide, like... What did I say about British maps and can't go all big with equipment? Yeah, about that. Like, seriously, this takes up realistically both lanes of the roads. I thought it was going to be a bit more compacted, but I guess not. Oh, this is going to be fun and stressful at the same time, so I'm sure by the time we get to the field. We're going to have some grey hairs here. And actually I'm thinking, just to test it, we pull where's the entrance to our other field over here. I think it's here, I think. Yep. Let's check behind us. So you can actually do a little test here. Something with ease of access to the field, that's why I didn't think about using that field down there. See, that's going to be too painful to do. But yeah, you may have seen me using this before, but I do love this bit of equipment. Can't remember who this is by. But yeah, so. Lure it. And on the way we go. So if you have a look here, see it's mulching. You can tell the difference in textures. And then it cultivates it into a nice bit of stubble. Over the field, and yeah. Everything looks all linked up. Pipes are good, so... Yeah, you know what we're going to do now, so... It's going to be a little short time lapse, so I'm going to do too long, so all it'll be, it'll be just a couple of clips, about a minute long. Probably you know what I'm doing, so yeah. Let's get this cold vein done, and I'll see you folks in about an hour or so, and then we'll focus on the alfalfa. Done with all the ploughing. We didn't get any field zones popping up, but if we have a look, so field 6 and 10 has all been mulched and ploughed. If we have a look here, yeah, ploughing's done and mulching. We have gone and mulched all the fields. Obviously, some of the grass fields were already mulched, obviously. 
Field 5 is actually a grass field, so if you want to plant canoe with an arrow, you don't need to direct draw over it, because fortunately our McKinsey planter can do direct drilling, so entrance to the field is over here, and after I had to look back in when we planted this, 23 episodes ago, we planted all this, like, seriously, I couldn't believe it myself, but, yeah, 23 episodes this has been, so, let's go and toggle work mode, want swathing, yes, we're going to make alfalfa hay, but still, Lights on. Let's just double check. This is alfalfa. It is. We're cutting up and windrowing it. Obviously, is it pretty profitable? Compared to grass, yes, but. I can't remember how long it took to grow it. Definitely has been like several months since we've done this, so I, I can't remember when we planted it. All of this, but yeah, certainly. What? Well, actually, when is the plant of window for alfalfa? Let me have a look here. So, must be like a year ago, maybe something like that, or at least in April. I was in April, or yeah. I was even getting a bit of grass from this, but. This is going to be predominantly alfalfa anyway, so hopefully it doesn't affect it when we make the bells. I won't get the bells because we're using the quick bell. Yeah, I was toying not where not to use it, or like going get the quadrant baler and that. Because then we can do stack bells and that, but. Yeah, I think for now we'll just use this. But yeah, we've got like tons of hay as it is at the moment, to be fair on that. And I don't think we can do alfalfa silage, because I've tried looked at some of the bunker silos. But yeah, if we go to drone mode, go into silos, like. Look at the bunkers, and that's a manure heap. Let's not make that mistake again. Yes, nothing here for court farm. Because so obviously there will be a session for a court farm. That says, yeah, we can do. You know, alfalfa side It's not like maps by Salabuki and that. That says, yes, we can do it. And I'm wondering these clubs we're getting. This is a mixture of grass and alfalfa. I don't know, but. At the end day, it's hay now, and we did have a great demand for, what was it, alfalfa, yeah, just normal alfalfa it was, our rice always rushed, and yeah, garden center bells, 273, however, at the moment, if we bait it now, we get 317, 312, 298, we're in September, so the price is going up, yeah, it's not the most ideal. We can wait a couple of months, but I think we'll just wait till October now and then sell it all. And then, yeah, I think next episode, what we'll be doing is predominantly planting canola. Just with what we do on the other fields, I don't know. I should go to the crop counter once more. So planting window, alfalfa again, nope, rye, could do rye, linseed, yep, we could do that, and then it's your wheat, barley, canola, and oats, so, obviously we're going to have some flour to harvest snaps in the next episode as well, and yeah, I'm thinking canola, we should still have some potatoes or root crops left over by July. Well, I've 
planted it now would be August, so a year away. Will we have any crops left? Perhaps I doubt it, but things like making the crisp now, that's what we want it for, is to make the crisp now. And obviously, not the worst case scenario, but what we can do is plant potatoes in spring and that. Plant potatoes in spring, at least I can guarantee it. Yeah, we have enough potatoes to get crisp and that going. So, yeah, we've got a few things we can do. And, yeah, let's see. I'm just going to continue on the mowing. And then what we'll do next is start doing the bathing. And then we'll get sewed up and prepare to sell it all tomorrow. Because, yeah, we've got enough hay out of here, so we don't really need to store hay in that. It's mainly straw we need at the moment. Like, yeah, we've got some straw from the contracts, but I do want to do straw again because obviously, with the whole edit situation, I have found a way. Actually, it was thanks to Mr. P. I watched one of his core farm videos before his series ended, and yeah, basically, what it is is when you do short headers and that, what you do is when you say do short from contract or collect short from the fields and that, if you use the forest pickup, put that straw into a mixer. Converts that into straw pellets, so always you've got to add straw harvest pack and they will damage it in that, but yeah, seems to work fine. So, yeah, let's get all the gears done and then see where we stand afterwards. So we are off on the way doing the bathing. I just want to make sure, yep, 187 your bells. I should want a 6150. So, yep, I should help if we load this. So, this should go swimly. And there we go, getting alfalfa hay in. And yeah. That's going to be pretty much true, and it is get this alfalfa. 
And yeah, bathing it was definitely a good idea. I think that should be interesting to see once we get to the upper areas. Whereas there's a bit more grass, so... No idea how much bells we're going to get. Actually, we should reset the bell counter, so we've got one bell already. And we're going to have a second one here, so... When we get at the end, just add one. Oops. Accidentally raise it up. But yeah, so the, with the time lapse, try something a little bit different. So feel free to comment on some feedback on that. But yeah, I'm thinking with the alfalfa hay, yes, as mentioned before, we could keep this, but realistically, we do not need it. So. Okay, so imagine the grass fine. Or do some little skips, so maybe at the end what I'll do is just go over everywhere because Yeah, I think we may have skipped one or two little bits, but I just think like overall we're actually doing quite good with this and I think yeah we'll set us off in the next episode. And again with crops we're gonna be planting next year. I'm thinking potatoes, I got 52, 3, 4 in that. And yeah, like 55, 6, 7, 8 in that. I'm thinking wheat and that, wheat and barley between those fields. Obviously, we've got our other fields that like we had root crops in. But yeah, even though grass, the grass field on field 5 is grass fields. I am going to compromise and give that up because, yeah, we've got enough silage. I think, what was it, like 2 million litres of silage we've got already in storage? What, in the bike of clamps, which is going to be ready tomorrow, I think. Let's get rid of that big map there, so. Yeah, we've got options, as always. But, yeah, so let's go and get the rest of these finished off. I will see how much we have afterwards. Bells, then you are correct. Because that's how many bells we've got. 16 bells, which, yeah, on its own, may not see much, but remember, these are 25,000 litre bells, so. What's that? 160, 320, 400,000 litres we've got here, so. So, yeah, on its own, not too bad, so. I should. Why am I getting this drift in? As if I try that. There we go, that's better. Just, just tweak the button here on my side panel, because I'm still using the Logitech side, tech side panel. Of course, because I'm playing this on PlayStation 4. But yeah, for some reason, like, when Forbidden 22 came out, it was like, yeah, use a new side panel on there. Which, technically, yes, you can, but only if you're on PlayStation 4. And, yeah, I know it wasn't meant to be for consoles now, it wasn't meant to be for PlayStation. It's just one of those things that worked. So, yeah, it'd be good if I had like, a side panel that did work with all consoles. Not just PlayStation 4, not just PlayStation 5s, but all the consoles. Uh, we've got four bells where you have two over there. But yeah, it's it is a bit guy, and I wish we 
Yeah, I wish. I know we've got mods now. Of course, on console, it's a rare thing for a game to support mods, but still, be good just to have a little bit, little bit more equipment. Like, of course, you yeah, use your racing wheels and that. I've used racing wheels from time to time on farm sim. Yeah, not so much at the moment since I've given up sim racing for the time being. And just to clear up space, I put my sim. Well, not my sim rig, but my sim wheel and all the pedals and steering wheels away in storage. Ah, yeah, we'll go to the garden center, so right and up there. And yeah, it's one of those things where. What was all about again? Okay, sim racing and that. Yeah, like sim racing. I've loved sim racing. Done it for many years. Primarily since. Oh, I'm trying to think. 2018? I swear I got on sim racing before then, but. Yeah, definitely 2018 onwards. Absolutely loved it. Racers. Some of the best sim racers. Not in the world, obviously, but. So for what you come, come across online in that, like what you hear of recently, it's like farm sim that you can out, get the top players in farm sim, play F1, get racing some of the well potentially some of the best drivers in F1, but yeah, I do miss it from time to time. Like I was planning on joining the new season when Formula One twenty three came out, but. Yeah, that was a wasted eight quid that was. Bought the championship edition, got it early, and barely put fifty hours in the game. Compared to Farm Sim 22, which on its own I have just over four thousand hours on the game, so that's true love. Uh, yeah, not all of it's content creating. Some of it is I'll just play on my own or play on a multiplayer server, primarily Mr. EP's Discord server, or dedicated server. And of course you want to join Mr. EP's either dedicated server or Discord server. You know where it is, and we yeah, have struggled to offload this. Let's try that again. Unless this doesn't take Alfalfa hay? I guess not. I guess it's only like the garden set and that, which. You know what? Fair enough. But yeah, let's see how much we'll get from this. Ooh, that was close. Fairness, I did see that coming from a mile away, but I thought, yeah, we could accelerate in time. But, no. But anyways, I'm not waffling on. Let's see how much money we've made, so let's go and off those. And overall for all that alfalfa. Sixty-four thousand French quids. Ninety-six thousand four hundred. Sell the rest. Come on. Oh, I lost track there, but. Yeah, actually, you know what? That was a decent hole. What was it? About 130 grand or so. So, yeah, overall, not too bad. I'm happy with that. Can't really complain on that, and. Yeah, I think for the finish off the day, get his contract finished off. And then the next episode, I know we're approaching sunset. I think we've got like two hours of daylight left, so next episode we'll say be gonna be in September second, or second week of September. But what we're gonna be doing is planting that canola. May not be five doing the mold. Not emulsion to roll in. Like, to be honest, we're getting that season now where like, the yield bonus is nice, but 
not really necessary, so I may give that a miss. If we look at our contracts, so yeah, we'll do this, get two and a half grand, 67, 68, hey, and also 26, what's that, two? Alright, I'll oh, you know, just cross one field 14 now, like night 4, night 5, on the centre left, edge of the map, so yeah, not too bad. And yeah, I'll get these contracts done in between the episodes, so should have a decent whole money. Uh, yeah, maybe even hit 300 grand mark. If we can hit 300 grand, that'd be good, and yes, one of things, a lot of think of something to do with all this money, like, yeah, I'll wrap up the series here and that very soon, easy to do it, I'm wrapping up our survival challenge, that's got about less than five episodes left, four or five, six episodes left, and obviously loving vintage survival at the moment, just getting to our shred on that, we bought a new lorry on that, and yeah, where do you go from here? Oh, I think I'll stuff to do here on Court Farm. Like, uh, what was it? Like, the diesel production. Because you want to make our own diesel and that. Actually, maybe before we start plants and stuff now, like the next year's crop and that, we could actually look at doing that. So, like, yeah, produce our own diesel. And, uh, of course, it's one of those things I was going to do on by spring before the update. Or the first major update of become self sufficient. Like, yep, we're making our own food, not technically, but I mean, like, seeds and fertilizer. Because we do mainly use a lot of liquid fertilizer, and obviously, you've got your seed and solid fertilizer. So, we we'll also look at making our own fertilizer stuff and that. And yeah, we have the whole crisp and that. All the foils, one of those things. I know, I think it's part of the multi crop greenhouse we can get orchards where it's like a greenhouse but we can grow olives and then from that we can make olive oil and just, yeah, all sorts of things we could be doing. And yeah, that's one thing I'll try to do is mix up these episodes, keep it interesting, keep it engaging. And yeah, who knows? From time to time, I may just go. You know what? Screw YouTube. Here's a video of us just doing farming. Yeah, I would have loved to do a live stream that, but I just don't think I've got the internet bandwidth stability at the moment for that, so. Yeah, that's going to be unfortunate. Yeah, maybe. I'm trying to think. In. Two bumps time, maybe a bit better now. Where we'll be looking for working out. So give it two bumps. I'll find a job, get something a bit secured long term now. I mean, and then from there, get my own fiber optic broadband again. Because, yeah, I got one broadband here at home, but of course, sharing that with a family of seven is definitely interesting for sure. Now. I mean, yeah, it's like, I think we got like seven, nine hundred megabytes. But we share that between seven people. Like, let's say me personally, I've got my phone, PC, PlayStation, and technically my TV while I'm using Smart TV and that. That's four devices I'm using potentially at once. So, yeah, I've got. Technically, I've got a TV and two big monitors, so I could be watching TV, I could be playing farm sim at the same time, add something else on the PC, you know, like editing stuff. So, yeah, when you think about it, like four devices, seven people, that is 28 devices at once, so yeah, the bandwidth does get stretched in that, so. But yeah, what I do is get my own like, fiber optic broadband get installed and only have me as the user. Well, yeah, that's a bit of unnecessary waffling there to end the episodes. But yeah, got two and a half grand from that contract. Got 130-ish grand. 
Ah, uh, from what was it? The alfalfa? Maybe you can start looking at doing that again. Start doing some more alfalfa. But, yeah, that's going to be one of the things. Once I'm editing this episode, I'll have a look. A bit of a look around, some mods and that. Of what we can do potentially in that. Because, yeah, again, so many options, so many mods we could be using. In terms of production chains and... Yep, it's not going to go all heavy into production, so it's still going to be farming. Farming is still going to be the key aspect of it, and with how I'm going to be doing things, trying to improve the like, time lapses, and just in general trying to improve the content itself, like, I know this last half of the episode is probably not being the most cohesive, like, to be honest, it took me two days to record this, not because it took long enough, I think. Obviously, since I'm on Moipair, I can't get the time up, but... Yeah, no more than, what, four hours or so? Four or five hours, so... But yeah, again, just real life, being busy and that. It's one of those things, it's what it is at the end of the day. But, anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, this is me from Everwood Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.